Recently, the Great Barrier Reef suffered two massive bleaching events. When waters warmed past the coral's tolerance of 86 degrees Fahrenheit, they began expelling the algae they need to survive. Large sections of the reef died. When you jump off the side of a boat and you see a bleaching event, it really comes home to you, the scale of the changes that are going on. What would happen if we woke up one morning and one in every five trees in our favourite forest had just disappeared? Well, that's what's been happening in coral reefs. More than a million different species live, feed and breed around reefs. They need the reef. They literally can't live without it. Another recent trend in the oceans, far beyond coral reefs, is even more dangerous. The oceans are the planet's largest carbon sink, nature's primary mechanism for absorbing CO2 out of the atmosphere. But lately, there are indications these systems are breaking down. Under normal conditions, tiny sea creatures like forums and coccolithophores absorb carbon out of the water and use it to build their shells and skeletons. But there is a tipping point when too much CO2 in the oceans turns the water increasingly acidic. Acidification dissolves the creature's shells and skeletons and prevents them from absorbing more CO2 out of the water to build new ones. Some of these tiny animals at the bottom of the food chain measure only a fraction of an inch. But the fate of all sea creatures, of all shapes and sizes, larger and larger, hangs in the balance. Alter the ocean's chemistry, and nature's primary mechanism for controlling the climate begins to break down.